Hey fellow gold dwellers, it's Angry Tartul and in this video I want to talk about treasure hunters as they are back in the Appalachia from today and because a lot changed about this event since I did my last guide that was quite a while ago then I decided to just redo it all over again. But before we start I would like to welcome my new Patreons. Those are Perforator and Nicodemus Santana Armas. Welcome into Tartus Army, guys. Thank you a lot for supporting my channel. And now, how we can get more miners' pails? There is obvious option, killing treasure hunters, but there is second option. We can go for uh, vendors and open the miscellaneous tab. And here you can see empty pails that we can buy and if you want to buy any of those usually ornate, ornate mall miner pails are the way you want to go those contain the best loot even though those are the most expensive and here i actually don't have hard bargain equip let me show you what will happen if i will get those prices a little bit more reasonable before i buy I actually ended up swapping the character as I scrapped my hard bargain on my full health build and I cannot get it back because I spent everything on legendary perks. Then now you can see the best possible prices. And the most expensive one will go down to 1925. Then we go and buy one. Then you need to find any Tinker's Workbench. And those are under chests. You go into craft chest and you can see ornate mall miner pail. And what you need? Empty mall miner pail, gold, screws, silver and spring. Then crafting those is quite expensive. But if you are after whatever is inside, yeah, it's worth it. And now, very important. Before you open it, choose what kind of ammo you want. And how you do it? You need to equip the weapon with ammo that you want. Oh, I'm not sure if I can get this one. Let's do the test as well. Can I get AB rounds from the pails? Probably not, but we'll see. If I will get something at random, it means that AB rounds are not available. And here we have crafted ornate mole miner pail. And we open this one. And as you can see, I have some Molotov, some alcohol, some aluminum scrap like titanium scrap and unfortunately i earn harpoons that means you cannot get a b rounds from those worth a try though but if you choose any other weapon like for example if i will choose my napalmer i will get fuel if i will choose my gauss shotgun i will get two millimeter ammo the ammo inside those pails depend on what you have equipped Unless you have equipped something that you cannot get ammo from the pails, then you will get a random ammo. Then that's why it's so important to equip what you actually want. And no, you will not get Ultra Sight or regular Fusion Course, unfortunately, either. Only, mostly, only regular ammo. And now, how you find them? The easiest way is to listen. And now you can, you can hear the sound that those treasure hunters are making. That's the very characteristic sound and how to make your hunting easier, go into your game settings, go into audio and make sure that your effects are higher than anything else. You need to hear it. It's under effects, you need to boost your effects. If you have problem finding those treasure hunters boost up your effects. Treasure hunters will not be fighting, then only they only run away. They do not fight, never, never ever. And they scale to your level like everything else was really good. Then you can get max out loot. And now we have dusty mole miner pail and more ghouls coming. I don't want to fight ghouls at this moment. And now I have my 50 cal equipped and I'm going to open this one. And look at the top left corner of the screen there are all my rewards and unfortunately dusty one does not contain any ammo and now how to find a lot of them 
There is a couple of rules when hunting for those treasure hunters. They cannot appear in any interior location. Like, for example, if I will go to the Charleston Capitol building, if I will go on the inside of the Charleston Capitol building, I will not find a single one. And the best places to find them, because now they can spawn everywhere on the map, you need to be looking for them whenever there is a high concentration of enemies. It's why it's so easy to find them at White Spring Golf Club. But it's not, that's not the only place. Everywhere where you go on the map and you have a lot of enemies that are not in sight, it's a good place to look for treasure hunters. Then basically roam the map, left and right, different areas, low level, high level areas, that doesn't, doesn't really matter, and you will find a lot of them. The other strategy, that we are doing in the past. If you find a couple friends or gather a couple people through Discord, you can spread out as a team, like four people team, like one person go in here, one person will go in here, someone else will go, let's say, check Lavisberg, and someone else maybe go and check some of the cutthroat camps. And then you just use your emote when you find one, for everyone to come to you, you go, you get your loot all together, just everyone can loot it if you are close together. If you are on a team, you are close together and you kill a treasure hunter, everyone will be able to loot it. And then you can spread out and look again. You find another one and you can gather and loot it. And that's a very effective way if you want to get a lot of more minor pails. And I know there is one more insight as I can hear him. I don't know if you can hear him because he's quite far away and I can hear him on my headphones. Let's let's see if I can find him. He's in here. And now we have regular more minor fail. Let's see if regular one can give me ammo for my 50 cal as I'm out. More minor fail. Can I get ammo? Again, top left corner. Oh, there is ammo. 25. <laughs> that was too quick. I have 25 ammo for the weapon that I had equipped. And that's basically everything you need to know about the treasure hunters and how to get the pails, how to get all the rewards you want. And the most important part, you need to have fun hunting. And especially fun if you have at least one friend with you and you hunt together. That usually improve the quality of the hunt by a lot. And before we finish this video, I have I have results of our week free daily op challenge. And week free challenge was rolling pins. Rolling pins in daily op, no additional restrictions. And for the solo run, first place Spoder on PC. 6 minutes 45 seconds and for the team again Mitsis Minions 4 minutes 57 seconds then congratulations go to winners and we wait for week number four I think those are broadsiders and let's see how well people will do with broadsiders in daily ops if you want to join the fun join the discord and you can participate and if you are interested What's inside the Mole Miner Pails? That was already covered by Sexy Hand Games and others, and there are some data mined info on Reddit as well. I saw it then. If you are interested, what's possible inside? Go and check it out. If you want to have a surprise, just hunt the treasure hunters and open them yourself. And let me know what you think about this event. It's actually one of my favorite events especially now that it's not restricted to any area of the map. It's just whole map overall. That, that's what's great. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.